All I had to do was jump a little bit quicker. Uh, I don't think they're going to do the all-force race. I'm not sure. Depends on how many people entered into the all-force race. But for quicker times, quicker setups, and to jam-pack more games in, I think it would be more likely to just have my solo any percent warpless and my solo any percent run in, and that's it. Randomizers, unpredictable. You don't know how long it's going to be, and you have to set up with a bunch of people. Then you have to set up commentary. Uh, the s same goes for the all forts race. You have to set up for commentary. Uh, you have to set up like three or four different systems and televisions. You know what I mean? Uh, a co-op warp list is a little less of a setup, a little less of a time, and a little more fun. And just regular warp list in any percent is like the quickest way to set it up. Also, with something like Randomizer, um, a player who's not able to, you know, finish super fast might take a lot, a lot longer. And I don't know if that actually happens, but it's possible. So it's like they just deny that game itself to avoid that kind of complication. It's like in 1950s comedy clubs with the cane getting like yanked off the stage. Get, get out of here. I'm assuming you're referring to something like that, right? No, I've never... I don't know anyone either who's been in that situation. No, the only time we've gone over our time was a big community thing, and that was in the second Mario Maker thing. We went way over the time. Well, not way over. It was like half an hour. It wasn't that bad, but we went over what they wanted. Um, so. That's the only thing that I, that I remember like drastically going over. And ever since then, people keep trying to bring Mario Maker back, but it's just, it's just not getting in. There's been some Mario Maker submissions this year, which for this SGDQ, which I also don't think is going to get in. I was invited to submit with the Mario Maker. One, I ran out of submissions, and two, I I don't know. I, I really didn't think it was going to get in, but who knows? If it does get, get in, I'm not going to be kicking myself or anything. It'll be a fun watch. Nice. They should have Game J at GDQ beside the live Wrong Warp. The Lost Level Block was my favorite segment of GDQ ever. But he, he'll probably get his urge to play again. You never know how those things go, right? Grats on the world. Yo, thank you, Human Mustard. Yeah, friggin' frig. The best race ever was the Ninja Gaiden. Oh my god, that was insane. Dude, that was insane, holy jeez. That was 2015 or something, wasn't it? I was in the same room with uh, Crack Attack, or Cack Attack, and he came back and he like told me all about it. It was insane. If I wasn't speedrunning this game, what would I do? I'd probably speedrun a different game. Like, if I wasn't speedrunning this game anymore, then there's there's different things that I would do. Yeah. But this game's not going to define my entire gaming career. I will move on from this game at some point and wow the socks off of you guys in another way. Yo, Silent Wolf, what's up, dude?
First of all, there is no blue toad house. There's blue toad houses in world six, but that's because they're cold. If you're referring to the blue toad house in world one level four, getting all the coins, I'm doing a speed run and that wastes time because I do the cutscene talking to toad. If you're talking about getting the anchor in world two level two, also with the white mushroom house by collecting all the coins, again, that will waste me time. There's no need for me to do that. I do not need those items. They don't benefit me. They just cost me time. If you're questioning the fact that I am unaware that they exist, you're sorely wrong, because I know they're there. I'm choosing not to get them. So, W-O-W -W to you. Wow, he didn't even get it. Wow. Yeah, get freaked. If I wasn't a streamer, uh, I would probably continue being a chef. Most likely. Uh, there's a there's a couple options that I could do. There's like four or five, well, three or four careers that I could pursue if I wanted to, but been there, done that, don't care. How am I supposed to understand playful sarcasm when you don't put any emotes or anything? Am I supposed to fucking read your mind? First of all, you're you're typing it out, and you didn't put kappa, you didn't put, you know. A smiley face with the tongue sticking out. All you did was say, wow, didn't even get the blue toad mushroom house. How the hell am I supposed to know that you're playing around? Now you make me feel like an asshole because you didn't properly set up your message. Now I feel like a jerk, man. How the fuck was I supposed to know? Now, yeah, now I feel like an asshole. I should create a speed cooking channel. Most of the time when you're a chef in a restaurant, you, you're, you're always going fast. So, I mean, that would work. Parrot guy. So lame. Who does that? Who comes in, insults, pretends like it wasn't assault, then leaves after they're proven wrong? Like, who does that? I now understand why he came to my channel, because it wasn't working in the other 15 channels he visited first. And they said toodles. Dude. Everything, everything wants death in this game. Cancel the stream. Paraguy doesn't want to have anything to do with it. I don't want to actually insult anyone. What? So dumb, man. Okay, I need to tonight. Tonight, I'm definitely working on my fire fire pattern kills because it's just not working for me. Stupid timer never stops on your times. That might be me altering. It was me the whole time.
Did you guys hear uh, YouTube confirming that? Hold on a sec. Important strategies. Wow, I was inside that fish's face. Uh, did you guys hear that YouTube officially like confirmed in an interview that subscribing to a YouTube channel does not actually notify you? Like you have to hit the bell no matter what to be notified. If you don't hit the bell, that's why you're not getting notified. And like up until like a week ago or two weeks ago, it wasn't fully confirmed. A lot of people were skeptical on the fact that all their subscribers were being notified. And even after they said, yes, all subscribers are notified, the bell. Exactly, what's the point in subscribing? That's what, I know, that's that's what one of the biggest question is. If you don't hit that bell, that's why you're not getting notified. Yeah, so clicking subs subscribe doesn't do anything. Why don't you just click on the bell? Right? Yeah. Up until like a week ago, they, they denied the fact that, you know, it was, it was like a thing. They were like, no, 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 like, subscribe. Subscribe's important. But now... The bell isn't on the mobile site. That's pretty unfortunate. <laughs> That's pretty unfortunate. Sorry to hear that. You think that the bell should turn off notifications? Yeah, I think I think the whole thing came about with the fact that you when you do your YouTube and Google and stuff like that It signs up with like your Gmail or your email address, right? So they put the bell there so you can toggle certain channels You know whether or not you want it to come to your email Which also will come to your phone and be notified that way, but I don't know I don't really care fucking if I like a channel I don't want to be notified. I, I'm notified like I don't know man. It's so crazy. Yeah, it's it's an interesting topic of conversation, but I mean it's it's been Most people have been pretty like you know what you should probably hit the bell I mean most of you guys have watched YouTube videos where they're like, you know hit that subscribe button Make sure you hit that bell to be notified because most people are like, you know what most of my subscribers aren't getting notified But it wasn't until like a week ago where YouTube actually confirmed no You need to hit that bell <laughs> you can edit yeah 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 you can definitely edit things and delete it and stuff it is such a pain man uh i think the thing i dislike the most about youtube i think the thing that like, that doesn't bother me too much about YouTube. What bothers me the most about YouTube is being recommended videos I've already seen and then glancing to my left and seeing a, a, a history tab. Why do I have a history tab and then get recommended videos I've already seen? If I want to watch them again, I just go to my history. Scrolling through your history is a pain, sure, but isn't that what the subscribe button's for? So I can go back to their channel and watch their videos? Ah, man. YouTube is retarded. <laughs> ah, YouTube is interesting. But I love it. I like YouTube. Always have, probably always will. I complain because I care. Why, you know? I read these articles because I care. Watch laundry folding tuto tutorials? No way. No, they still recommend videos I've finished before. There is, there's a continue watching section. You're absolutely correct about that. Those are for videos I haven't finished watching. 
Yep, they got the continue watching section if you scroll down more. And then the recommended for you. Uh, I also learned that they're they might be implementing implementing a rating system to YouTube if not already if not it's already a thing and uh, higher rated things will be suggested less so although you can get something monetized on YouTube sure but it if it's rated like R or you know 18a or whatever the ratings are these days I don't know what they are but if it has a higher rating, like as like um, adult content or something, um, it it will be recommended less. Yeah, you can go search it up. It's not like a secret or anything. I just don't know if that's implemented in. Why do you think a lot of streamers are blocking out their swear words now, all the time? Big time streamers are always they're always blocking out their swear words now, and they're they're not doing the sexual clickbait uh, thumbnails and stuff. It's very interesting the way it's like morphing right now. Not, no, n not necessarily recommended less. It's it's all about how the rating gets, you know. But it, I don't even think it's really anything super official right now anyways. I don't think it's... I don't even think it's a thing yet. Did you know about the frig? Dude, I'm so glad a lot of you are liking the ROM hack that I made. What? When does that even happen? Dude, super frig bros, man. People are loving it. The winner gets that hundred, hundred smackaroos. Dude, you guys are killing that ROM hack. For a community that has never done any speedrunning, you guys are destroying it. And you found all my secrets. I think they were well-placed hidden secrets, though. I think I did a pretty good job of hiding secrets. I don't know how people found the Hammer Brother suit so fast. I, f I thought that that was going to be... I thought that was going to be one of the hardest secrets to find. Well, you don't want to wall clip in Fort 2. You're going to soft lock. Unintentional clip. It's, it's a corner of the wall. It's only an unintentional clip because you guys made it that way. I didn't make it that way. You fucking... If a clip's gonna lead to a soft lock, don't clip there. Bingo bango. <laughs> you put a soft lock in your hack, Mitch. There's a 90 degree angle wall. My goodness. No way to get around that. Yo, Flyer, what's going on? You found it in your first run? Like, how? That's insane to me. Are you guys actually going to do wall jumps? Is someone going to go for the wall jump?
Remember, guys, I've never done any speedrunning of the hack or anything. You know, I designed it the way I designed it. So, if there's a wall jump in it that saves time, that's a wall jump that you guys created, not me. I didn't put the wall jump in the hack. I designed a level that just so happens to have a wall jump that will save time. If none of you guys did the wall jump, there wouldn't be the wall jump in the hack. So you, you guys should discuss amongst yourselves and be like, listen, guys, let's not do the wall jump because wall jumps suck. You think people are planning it? Well, I mean, if it saves time, that will be the person, you know, the person most dedicated to the run will be the winner, right? So, if you understand wall jumps, I, I go for it. Five seconds? Five seconds is a pretty awesome time save, if you ask me. Real talk, why in the world would you put a clip into the brick after the first jump? I, don't, I have no idea what you're asking me. Right on, nice time save. Someone's gonna find a wrong warp. Uh, I don't think so. Ah. Every time I panic. Someone needs to find the cloud I, I hid in 1 1. Uh, of course, I got the longest movement. Why wouldn't I? Dude, I love the upside down wand grab. Yes, I didn't make the same mistake as last time. How are the runs today? Pretty good. Pretty good. There's a couple things I need to uh, practice on because 100% routing, but other than that, pretty good. I don't trust that anymore. Ever since my fireball bounced completely over that spiny, I don't trust it. No way. Get out of here. Uh, the card game showed up after 5-1 because I was up 80,000 points. It shows up every 80,000 points, and since I haven't played it once, 
It's gonna spawn after I beat the first level of every world or do first transition of every world. So, for instance, world four is a pipe transition, so I'm gonna transfer the pipe, and then when I come into the pipe, it's gonna act as if I came out of a level. And I'm moving to three there. It's fantastic. Oh, hi, Mitch. Yeah, what's going on, man? Yeah, we just got a new emote. I'm trying to figure out what it's what it's what I want it to be. It was supposed to be a Doctor Evil, but too many people's got the Doctor Evils going on. I'll stick with the Austin Powers. Yeah, I could do a mini-me. Like, I mean, I'm familiar with the... the characters. I just don't know who I want. Yeah, the only reason 5-3 isn't working for me right now is because I'm combining old strats that I thought were good back then, but they're not, so I just need to go back to the way it was before. Why? How is the cloud even there? I should have just done level 6. I don't know why. Oh, I almost did the upper decker. Was that a rush hour quote? Yeah. Yeah, it was. Wipe yourself off, man. You dead. <laughs> Dude, I love rush hour. <laughs> yeah, rush hour is good. Maybe I can do a Chris Tucker screaming emote. But Chris Tucker from the Fifth Element, Chris Tucker. When he's crawling around the auditorium. Corbin Dallas, that's right. Corbin, Corbin. He's crawling around just saying Corbin the whole time. Yeah, we can have Corbin Dallas emote with a gun emote. And then you guys can say who's in charge. Or no, no, who wants to negotiate? That's what you say. Anyone else up to negotiate? And then you have the gun and then the Corbin Dallas emote. Great, great Billy. You want one? Of Hell yeah, I want one, of course.
Yeah, that'd be dope, Rex. Thank you. Yeah, a lot of that time loss was 5-3. I, I promise to do better, guys. I survived. How many subs till next emote? 90 something. Oh, I gotta hit some of these blocks. I was close. Almost coin shipped it. Coin chips. Ugh. I had to have been a pixel away from building that P-Speed. Wee. Coin chips away. to do the sport with a leaf, but I'll try. Hey, that works out pretty well. Worked out nicely, I bet. Dude, they're always in this position. Go somewhere else. No way. Yo, Coaster Dad, what's going on? Of course. Uh, no. When you make a Mario 3 ROM hack, it's not... It's not necessarily uh, block by block, no. Dude, that jump's always so scary. Uh, blocks don't raise, like, up and down in this game. It's weird. You have to go by sprite size and object size and stuff. Watch out when you ROM hack that you don't crash the game and overload sprites and screw up levels and pointers and all this. There's so much stuff. You can move one block in one level and it'll completely crash the entire game. Mario 3 is an extremely unstable game. It's amazing that it works so well. I played around a little bit of Lunar Magic with Super Mario World.
I should have made Mario Maker levels instead of what? You friggin' frig, Sash, Sash Boss. You friggin' frig. Come on, man. That wastes so much time. Ha 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 That's so bad right here. Ugh, it's not that bad. I'm just being hard on myself. What is the fastest task for SMB3? Uh, two minutes and 50-something seconds, I think. In like half a second at some point GDQ uh, that was different uh, you can't really I don't know unfortunately I had to do that Oh, I touched the pipe. You could hear it. You hear the screech. The screech powers. Second try close enough. Oh, come on, man, that's so rare. It's because I didn't push forward enough, I was scared. 
That's okay, that's not so bad. Donuts. The donuts. Uh, kind of losing time. I need to keep my tail, so that lag will always be there. So I don't have to cloud over this and use P-Wing and go back. Nice, it was a good level. I could teach you. That was so close. Can't make it now. Oh my god, that's so lame, man. Just a couple levels, just rusty gusty. Oh my god, I thought I hit that orb. I 
I thought I hit that orb. Cut that jump too close. I know my time saves, which is good. Essentially, essentially, it's a lot of the levels that I didn't do in Warpless that I just, since it's been almost four years since I've really sat down and tried to crack them out, um, I know what I'm going to be doing uh, for nightly practice, late night nightly practice. Fire kill? I don't think so. Who knows what this asshole is going to do. There we go. Something. Congrats on the Warpless 80% record. RNG was finally in your favor. Yeah, finally. Finally, some of it was in my favor. Like, thank God, right? small Mario and I tried to clip into the side of the pipe and I missed and I tried again and then I did the level. I could have saved 20 seconds if I got that. Um, but because I went for it twice, missed it, then tried it, comparing up against the one, the 11034, I lost a lot of time. 20 seconds almost total just from that one level. So that just goes to tell you that that clip is so important. I try to claim it back again maybe depends on how they beat it right if they get one death early hammer no hands no extra hammer brothers and no mistakes like you got the run that i wanted so at least someone did right dude these hammer brothers just got owned Dude, I get all hands all the time, man. I'm about to lose 4.5 4 seconds here. I get pulled in every time. Last time I was here, I got pulled in every time. Let me select a level, please. <laughs> what a fucking surprise. I'd expect nothing less from this game. All hands. Is there a way to remove the hands? Yes. Turn the power button on. And by on, I mean off. Press the power button! There has to be some sort of RNG manipulation. There isn't. That was fantastic what just happened there. Did you guys see my head get stuck in the ceiling? Of course. Of course that happened. And then now I'm gonna get bad RNG with the sun. Unbelievable, right? Right? Unbelievable. I, my head got stuck in the ceiling. I can't do anything about it. Sorry, I was double checking my inventory. I sacrificed the time.
All right, I salvaged it. See that jump right there? All I had to do was that jump, and I wouldn't have lost my hammer suit in the world record run. But no. I'm a frig. Who has to lose the hammer suit. Bick my big. I might beat my time by like three seconds. Very possible. How many seconds? Maybe a couple. Depends on how well I play this. Get in there! Let's get Bowser's castle. <sighs> I'm getting closer, man. If I would've got no hands, I would've been even closer. If I would've got no hands. save them miss piggy hype <laughs> right on yeah guys we got it 